Hi everyone, good evening. We have here Ivania, we have Sandra, Jensi, Glendis. Hi, it's nice to see you here again. Okay, welcome to this class. I hope you had a great day today. Espero que hayan tenido un gran día hoy y estén listos y con toda la actitud para poder aprender más de este bonito idioma que es el inglés. Bien, eh, buenas noches, buenas noches. Voy a, a compartir mi pantalla. Ok. Perfect. Yesterday we studied about simple present statements. Um, we studied about the family tree a little bit, right? Estamos viendo un poco acerca del, del árbol genealógico. Como decíamos, eh, Annie, por ejemplo, es la esposa de Paul. Y eh, digamos... Una consultita, no se mira nada. Una pantalla negra. Really? Ok, thank you for telling me. Ok, voy a dejar de compartir sí, porque yo sí estaba viendo. Igual. Ok, ok. Vamos a ver si ahora puede ver. No sé, creo que Jensi dijo. Now you can see. Can you see it now? ¿Puede verlo ahora? Hola, hola. Quiero que me confirme si puede verlo ahora la pantalla. Eh, no, aún se mira la pantalla negra. No sé si solo yo veo esa pantalla. Yo, yo sí que... veo la presentación. Ok. Bien, sí ha de ser tal vez el, di el dispositivo. Eh, Quizás okay. deba, ajá, deba ingresar de nuevo. Ok, perfecto. Ah, permíteme. Uh, ok, bien, sí. It's okay. Well, um, veíamos, ¿verdad? Cómo decir la esposa, el esposo, la hija. Okay. Now we have here uh, some examples about simple present. Bien, dice, write the, neg the negative form of these sentences. Bien, alguien que me recuerde, por favor, cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos con I, you, we, and they. Do y don't. Do and don't. Perfect. Thank you so much. Give her a clap. Um, y el que utilizamos con she, he, and it. Does y doesn't. Perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. Ok, otra persona que me pueda decir, eh, ay, que me pueda decir, ¿Cómo le llamamos a she, he, and it? Tercera persona. Tercera persona, third person. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ivania. Excelente. Muy bien. Entonces, tenemos aquí un ejercicio. Bien. Si yo tengo... I have a soccer game today. La forma negativa, ¿cuál sería? Por ejemplo, le voy a preguntar a alguien en específico. Let's see. ¿Cuál sería Omar Eliseo? En forma negativa, ¿cómo digo I have a soccer game today? Let's see. Sí, uh, ahorita. Perfect. Sería, I, I does not, I, sí, it does not. Ah, uh, ok, like, uh, ok. Uh, uh -huh. It does not a soccer game today. Ok. Like that, Omar? Ok, vamos. Vamos a ver, does not lo utilizamos con she, he, and it. Y acá tenemos I. Entonces vamos a utilizar do not. Ok, I. Do not. Ese es el verdadero auxiliar. Do not. Y aquí está faltando el verbo. 
Remember, subject plus do, do not or does not. Y luego va el verbo, have. I don't have a soccer game today. And the period here y el punto acá. Bien, esa sería la forma uh, correcta. Omar Eliseo, thank you so much. Let's see. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo puedo decir, Stephanie Andreina? How are you? ¿Cómo puedo decir, you watch horror movies? En forma negativa. You don't not, you don't, do not uh -huh. watch horror Perfect. movies. Okay. Horror movies. Okay, thank you. Perfect. It was a good one. Estuvo muy bien. Bien, let's see. Um, um, Glendis, Glendis, I want to hear you. ¿Cómo puedo decir en forma negativa esta oración? Yeah, she mm -hmm. does not. Ok. Y aquí no sé si le quitaría una S a Green. ¿Cómo? Perdón, lo, no, no escuché muy bien. Ok, ahí, de ahí ya va todo lo demás que es Green Coffee, Exacto, se la quitamos. No la lleva en este caso. So, sería? Drink. Drink. <coughs> Coffee. Coffee. With her sister. Perfect. Thank you so much. Excelente. Eh, Acá, como decía nuestra compañera Glendis, si se fijan acá tenemos drinks y va um, con S. Porque recuerden nuestra regla de la tercera persona en el simple present positivo, ¿verdad? Drinks lleva la S. Acá en forma negativa ya no la lleva. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros tenemos el auxiliar aquí. Por eso ya no podemos agregarle. Ya con esto nosotros sabemos que estamos hablando en tercera persona y es en negativo. Así que ya no lo lleva. Perfect. Thank you, Gladys. Um, let's see, Sandra Carolina. Can you please give me the negative form for this sentence? My mom does listen, doesn't listen pop, to pop music. Ok, excelente. Pop music. Teacher, tengo una consulta. Ya, yeah, tell en me. La, en la oración, en my mom listen, ahí no lleva S, el verbo. Yeah, thank you so much. Sí, acá lo lleva. Eso. Perfect. My mom listens to music, to pop music. Thank you so much. It was my mistakes. My mistake. Sí, ahí, ahí fue mi error. Sí lo lleva. Ok, y una cosa muy importante que quiero mencionar es, veíamos ayer que en singular utilizamos does not. Ok, so cuando decimos my mom es singular o plural. Singular, right? Singular. Mm -hmm. Ok. <clears throat> Por eso eh, utilizamos does not. Pero si dijera my mom and I. Uy. And. Let's see. And I. Agregamos do not. Porque ella se convierte en plural. Así que cuando veamos, por ejemplo, eh, Let's see, Mario, Stephanie, Carlos. Y veamos un nombre, por ejemplo, vamos a, a tener en cuenta eso. Si es singular, vamos a agregar does not. Y si es plural, vamos a agregar do. 
Perfect. Thank you so much, Sandra, uh, Carolina. Perfect. Now we have Carlos takes the train to work. Okay. Um, let's see, Lisette Orantes, how are you? You're here, I'm great. Hello, Miss. Hi. Um, can you please say me? Say to me, which is the negative form for this sentence? La, la forma negativa para esta oración. ¿Cómo sería? Sería... Eh, Carlos... Ajá. Eh, Don... Ok. Take... The train to work. The train to work. Okay, like that, Liz, uh, Lizette Orantes. Is that correct? Mm. Uh -huh, remember, uh, Carlos es singular o plural? Singular. Singular. ¿Y cuál, utiliz cuál eh, auxiliar utilizamos en singular? Das. Das. Okay, so we use das here. Das or da doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. Right? En este caso, doesn't. Or does not. Carlos does not take the train to work. Perfect. Thank you so much. Excellent. Perfect. Um the last one. Let's see. Eliazar. You are there, Eliazar. It's great to see you here. Hello, oh. teacher. Hi. Um, vamos a ver, ¿cómo sería la, la forma negativa aquí, Eliazar? Dígame, por favor. Eh, sería... They do not wash the car on the backyard. Okay, excellent. Just give me a moment. You, okay, perfect. You're welcome. They do not wash the cars on the backyard. Perfect. You see? It's, it's too easy, right? Está bien, bien fácil. Perfect. Esto backyard es patio, ¿ok? Ellos no lavan los carros en el patio. Ok. Do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Everything. Claro, it's everything clear, right? Okay. Excellent. Perfect. We have here an exercise for you. Write the opposite form of these question, um, sentences. I'm sorry. Bien. Entonces, vamos a escribir la forma o, eh, contraria de la oración que tenemos. Por ejemplo, si la oración es positiva, la vamos a pasar a negativa. Y si la oración es eh, negativa, la vamos a pasar a positiva. Ok, so you have a challenge there. I know it's too easy for you. Sé que está bien, bien fácil para ustedes. Y vamos a ver, les voy a dar unos minutos. Voy a estar aquí, right, por si tienen alguna pregunta. Okay, perfect.
Okay, guys, let me know when you are finished, okay? Háganme saber cuando ya hayan terminado, por favor. Perfect. Thank you, Elias, sir. Finish. Excellent. Thank you. Ok. Los que van terminando, levanten su mano y ahí déjenla, por favor. Thank you. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> we had enough time. Tuvimos suficiente tiempo? Okay, let's see. El primero que me aparece acá, Eliazar Castaneda. Okay, you will share with us your sentence in the opposite form. Tú vas a compartir con nosotros la primera oración en de forma eh, contraria. Okay. Te escuchamos, Eliazar. Yeah, you. Uh, excuse me, eh, que estaba fuerte la lluvia, por eso no había escuchado. Ah, ok, perfect. Uh, in the next sentence, we uh, work out the, out the night. The uh, opposite is we do not work out the night. At the mall. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much. Give him a clap. Excellent, Eliasar. Okay, you're welcome. Um, the next one, she does not eat vegetables. Okay, I have here Ivana, Ivania, I'm sorry, Ivania. We listen to you. Okay. She eats 
vegetables. Perfect. Excellent. It's vegetables. Perfect. Thank you, Vania. Excellent. Um, I have here Omar Eliseo. They read the newspaper. Ellos leen el periódico. Ajá. Uh -huh. They do not read the newspaper. The newspaper. Thank you so much. Excellent, Omar Eliseo. Um, the next one, he takes pictures every day. Stephanie, you're the lucky one. Uh, he does not take pictures every day. Excellent. You see, does not take, take right? You, uh, tu, tu quitaste la S? Yes. Okay, take. excellent. He does not take pictures every day. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, let's see, I have Glendis. I sing beautiful songs. I do not sing beautiful songs. I do not sing beautiful songs. Excellent. Thank you. Bernardino. The next one. I do not save money. I save I save money. I save money. Excellent. I hope if it is true. I hope that is true that. Espero que sea verdad eso. Okay. Thank you so much. Ven, eh, han aprendido así súper rápido esto. Muy bien. Pueden bajar la mano. Ya, yeah, no hay problema. Okay, we have here irregular verbs. Say with me, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. Ok, para eso nosotros tenemos un video en, en la plataforma. Ay, se me pierde el cursor desde ayer. Qué realidad. Bueno. Um, give me a moment, please, here. Bien. Tenemos eh, en nuestra plataforma un video acerca de lo que vamos a ver hoy. Let's see. No, no, no. Irregular verbs. Y vamos a ver y escuchar lo que significa. Tenemos um, a la derecha, a nuestro lado derecha, eh, la traducción, ¿ok? En español. Let's see. Let's do it. I am sorry. My parents here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. In this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have 
equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Hi everyone, in this class you'll Okay, excellent. We have irregular verbs. Bien. Um, nos decía, ¿verdad? El video que al usar he, she, and it, el verbo cambia. No es el mismo. Por ejemplo, hay verbos como, por ejemplo, it. Cuando lo utilizamos con tercera persona, solo agregamos la S. And that's it. Pero hay verbos como have, do, and go que agregamos es, o en este caso have, cambia a has. Ok. Um, déjenme encontrar el cursor porque no quiere aparecer. Ok. Here we have. Bien, ayer parece que aparecía un verbo por ahí y me decían, pero le agregamos, ¿verdad? Y, y, y este no solo la s. Muy buena observación. Acá tenemos las reglas para la tercera persona singular con los verbos irregulares. Ok, dice, in, gener in, in general, agregamos solo la S, right? Lo que les estaba diciendo, play, se convierte en plays, eh, swim, swims, write, writes. Pero los verbos que terminan en la consonante Y nosotros quitamos la Y y añadimos I, E, S. I, E, S. Ok, study, studies. Cry, cries. Try, tries. Spy, spies. Fly, flies. Y los verbos que terminan con O. SH, TSH, X en y doble S, agregamos ES. Por ejemplo, go, goes, wash, washes, watch, watches, mix, mixes, and kiss, kisses. Ok. Um, ¿Se les hace desconocido algún verbo de acá? Pueden preguntar, no se quede con la duda. Let's see, let's see. Spy. Spy, espiar. It's fly. Fly, volar. Volar. Sí, mix es mezclar, right? Okay, perfect. <clears throat> we have some examples here. I, we, and they. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Give me a moment, please. <laughs> Okay, perfect. We have a motorcycle. En la, en la tercera persona, he, she, and it. He has a motorcycle. They study with, her, with the teacher. He studies every day. I watch my favorite movie. She watches her favorite movie. Okay. Estas son las reglas para poder identificarlos. Nos van a ayudar siempre que utilicemos la tercera persona. Ok, I will pass to the next one. Here we have an exercise with have, go, and does. Perfect. Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. 
Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. Ok, lo vamos a hacer juntos. Vamos a identificar cuál de, los, de las dos maneras del verbo vamos a ocupar. Por ejemplo, my parents. Está hablando de plural. So we... Um, We right have my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad, which is the verb. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Go. 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 Right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Go. Perfect. Go. Uh -huh. Go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, so I go or goes. I do, go. I'm sorry, do. I do. I do. I do. I do. do, right? I do a lot of work at home. My brother doesn't live with us. I am sorry. With us. With us. He. Uh -huh. has. has. He has, right? Thank you. Perfect. He has an apartment in the city. He, uh, he goes. He goes. Go, Excellent. Go, go, go. Goes go, go. to school all day. Go. And he? No, he does. He, he does. does. Perfect. He does office work at night. I have. Uh, I huh? have, right? Perfect. Excellent. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We go. go. We go. Excellent. Perfect. Well done. Go. We, we, oh, no, I'm sorry. We go. We go. Perfect. We go. we go to the same school and sometimes we do. We do. Excellent. Do. Perfect. We do. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Perfect. So, we have a conversation here with Jack and Amy. Okay, so, quiero que pongan atención porque algunos van a ser Jack y otros van a ser Amy. Okay, so I will... We play the video here and let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which practice. Okay, I will play, play it again. Just to be sure you listen, okay? Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is her to come. Perfect. We have listened that conversation. And first of all, primero que nada, ¿se les hace alguna palabra aquí, un vocabulario, algo? Let's see. Noon, what's noon? What is noon, guys? Uh huh? Mediodía. 
Mediodía, perfect, thank you. Um, serve, what is serve? Servir. Servir. Servir, ellos sirven, right? Okay, perfect. Um, what does early mean? Temprano. Temprano and late? Temprano. Tarde. Tarde. Perfecto. Okay. Ah, and meet. What does meet mean? Conocer. Conocer, right? Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Un vol bueno, dos voluntarios. Y quieran ser Jack y el otro Amy. Perfect, Eliazar, and? Stephanie Andreina, perfect. Okay, let's do it. Jack. Yeah, you're let's Jack. Go, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. The next meet at his restaurant. At one o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You did it great. Lo hicieron super bien. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see. Thank you. Um, okay, you're welcome. Quiero otro Jack y, en, y otra Jane, Amy. Uh -huh. It's time to practice, guys. Me. Perfect. You and... Ta -ta -ta -tam. Sí, M. Bernardino. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Your microphone, Ivania. Okay. Okay, but let's go in the in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast at 10? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at, the, at this restaurant. At 1 o'clock, they serve breakfast all day. All day, perfect. Thank you. You did it great. Okay, excellent. So. For this topic, we'll see simple present, okay? Simple present question form. La forma de pregunta. Okay, ya sabemos que do y do not pertenecen y es auxiliar de I, you, we, and they. Y luego tenemos tercera persona, right? Okay, so we have the grammar here, el esqueleto de las questions. Primero, bueno, en la forma negativa, si ustedes se fijan, ponemos el sujeto y luego va el auxiliar. En este caso, we switch, right? Nosotros cambiamos de lugar el sujeto y el auxiliar. En la forma de pregunta, el auxiliar va al frente de la oración. Y va a depender del sujeto, el auxiliar que utilicemos. Por ejemplo, Fátima... <ríe> Fátima López, I'm sorry, vi, vi que, que se levantó en ese momento, perdón, let's see, eh, 
Jensi Noemi. Hi, Jensi. I want you to participate. Jensi, I have a question for you. Tengo una pregunta para usted. Si utilizo el, el pronombre we, ¿qué auxiliar voy a utilizar? De acuerdo a lo que hemos visto. Do, do. Do, right. Excellent. Do. Si tengo el auxiliar, do. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jensi. Auxiliar subject. Ok. Do. Tenemos acá algunas, eh, algunos ejemplos. Do you have a car? Y siempre agregamos el question mark, el signo de pregunta. Do you have a car? Do you work every day? Y acá tenemos, does she ride a bicycle? Y en este caso, nosotros ya tampoco agregamos la S. Si se fijan, aquí tenemos she, pero estamos utilizando el auxiliar. So, nosotros no agregamos S al verbo en la oración de pregunta. Ok. Excellent. Let's see. We have here some examples, but sigamos con el video porque lo dejamos solo con la conversación. Entonces el video sigue. Así que vamos a escuchar. Conversation in which lots of questions were asked. Eat at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word, plus do or does, plus a subject, plus a verb, plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus a subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. 
have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH... Okay, we have two kind of questions. Tenemos dos, um, dos tipos de preguntas. Tenemos el yes or not question, eh, que vamos a responder con sí o no. Y tenemos w, WH question, que sería eh, las preguntas que utilizamos como, por ejemplo, what, when, que ya las vamos a ver. Así que por eso me detuve ahí, para que podamos ver eh, las primeras, lo que les estaba diciendo, right? Do you have a car? Nosotros vamos a responder con yes or not. So, do you have a car? If it is yes, yes. Um, yes, I, I do. Yes, I do, right? Esa sería la forma corta. La forma larga sería yes, I have a car. Okay. Do you work every day? Ah, la forma negativa, I'm sorry. La forma negativa, no, I don't or do not. Ah, yeah. Y la forma larga, negativa, no, I do not or don't have a car. Okay. Perfect. Do you work every day? Let's see, voy a poner esto en negrito. Give me a moment. Excellent. Do you work every day? If it is yes, yes, I do. If it is the, um, la forma larga, yes, I work every day. Si es la forma negativa, no, I do not. Si es la forma negativa larga, no, I do not work every day. You see? We have here another example. Does she ride a bicycle? Bien, ¿cómo sería does she ride a bicycle si quiero responder forma corta positiva? Yes, she does. Perfect, yes, she does. Utilizamos el eh, auxiliar que le corresponde, right? She, ah, ok, tengo she. Voy a utilizar does. En este caso, es forma corta. Forma larga. Yes, she. Yes, she. Right. Yes, she. Remember the yes, ok. Yes, she writes. A bicycle. A bicycle. Ok. Remember, como nos está preguntando, right? Esta es nuestra oración positiva. Así que vamos a decir, yes, she writes. Agregamos la S. Ok. La forma negativa. No. Sí, She does or does not. La forma negativa larga sería yes. She. No, I'm sorry. The, la negativa. No. She. Ajá, let's see. She doesn't. 
or does not ride a bicycle. Remember, we have the auxiliary here, right? Por eso no vamos a agregar S acá. No, she does not ride a bicycle. Okay, excellent. We have an example um, kind of ex um, exercise here. Complete the equations with do or does. Then write four more equations. It says, vamos a elegir si es do or does. This, do you get up early on weekends? Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. No, no, no. Let's see. Okay, para esto tenemos que nosotros saber what time. Um, let's see. Hay alguien que sepa what time is? What, what time is? No? Okay, excellent. We have some examples here. Tenemos algunas, algunos ejemplos de preguntas, de cómo preguntar, ah, cómo preguntar, right? So, tenemos what, when, where, and let's see what time. What significa qué, ¿ok? Qué en forma de pregunta, ¿ok? Qué. When significa cuándo. Where significa dónde. Dónde. In what time significa a qué horas. Ay, let's see. ¿A qué horas? Ahora sí, vamos a la segunda parte de las simple present questions. Ya vimos eh, donde respondemos con yes or not. Ahora veamos las WH questions. WH questions. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb, plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice this concept by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and co-workers. Okay. Let's see. We have WH word. ¿Por qué es this WH word? Fácil. Porque inicia con WH, right? What time? A ver, ¿qué dijimos que significa what time? Ajá. ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas? ¿Qué when, ¿qué significa when? Cuando. 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 En where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Perfect. Excellent. So, después de la WH word, tenemos el auxiliar. Porque recordemos que es pregunta. Entonces, el auxiliar en las preguntas van antes del sujeto. So, do, en este caso, porque utilizamos you y luego el verbo y complemento si tenemos. Y la, el signo de interrogación. Luego tenemos de nuevo la WH word, el auxiliar, 
el sujeto, dependiendo de qué sujeto vamos a utilizar, do or does, el verbo, y en este caso el complemento es lunch. Ok. Um, let's see. En este ejemplo, when do they drive to work? Um, let's see. ¿Qué significa when do they drive to work? ¿Alguien que me diga? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo manejan ¿Cuándo? ellos al trabajo? ¿Cuándo ellos ¿Cuándo? manejan para el trabajo? I'm sorry. What was the equation? Or I, I don't know. I, I listened to Nino, I think. Okay, no. Yes. Let's see. Tenemos acá. Ellos, ellos manejan el trabajo. Sí, ¿cuándo manejan ellos al trabajo? Y la respuesta es every When. day. Mm -hmm. Ok, excellent, perfect. Bien, ese sería, como les digo, el esqueleto de nuestras eh, WH questions. Ok, so, time is almost over. I, I mean, time, time is over already. So... Um, hasta aquí hay alguna pregunta mañana vamos a seguir viendo WH Questions ¿hay alguna pregunta acerca del tema en especial eh, de las preguntas del vocabulary you have a question so far let's see si no hay pregunta yo voy a hacer una pregunta It's clear. It's everything clear? Perfect. Excellent. So, bien. Por hoy no tengo ninguna pregunta. Creo que todo ha quedado muy claro. Eh, mañana seguimos con el, con el topic, ¿ok? Y no olviden ir llenando su, su plataforma, ¿ok? En la sección que vamos. Yo justo en esta, en esta noche voy a enviarles las secciones por semanas, como las vamos a ir trabajando. Primero vamos a hacer la sección 1 y tienen que ir trabajando en lo que les pide. Ok, so I hope you are doing that already. Espero que ya estén haciendo y cursando sus ejercicios para que puedan seguir practicando. Ok, so ya no hay ninguna pregunta. Ha sido un gusto, un placer. Nos vemos mañana. No falte. Espero que mañana tenga un gran día. So, bye bye. Rest a lot. And don't forget to study, okay? Don't forget that. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. Rest a lot, guys. Bye bye.